What if I told you you have two purposes in life? Now, I know that can be a little bit overwhelming, but let me explain. The outer purpose of the universe is to create form and to experience different avenues of form, like your life play that's going on constantly, the dramas that you experience, love that you, you feel, the dreams that you have. All those things represent your outer purpose. The inner purpose is to awaken the formlessness concept from within. And that means to really tap into the ultimate trio. The trio of of the mind, thoughts, and consciousness, this trio leads us into a conscious state and it helps determine our purpose of life. Know that this trio, it's never going to disappear, but the intensity can vary and I'm going to throw up a chart to describe this. If one of the three elements begins to dim, then you will have no life experience and no life purpose. You will be asleep. In order to tap into your life purpose and to be conscious and to figure out your why, uh, you really need to focus on your thoughts, your mind, and consciousness. The formless mind is a gateway to your inner and pure consciousness. The universal mind is considered formless energy. It's the super center of intelligence behind all of life. It will provide you with answers to those really deep questions such as why? Like, what is my purpose here on earth? In order to feel peace and to experience a life that is blissful and you're in a conscious state, awareness and stillness of the present moment must be activated. We we create our own thoughts and these thoughts can either turn into blissful consciousness or they can be contaminated, thus turning into disharmony. And this is when you begin to feel a disalignment with life. It could feel like you're just going through the motions of life and it feels like you're just you're just kind of there. As, as thoughts move further and further away from this pure blissful state of consciousness, we begin to transition into human form. And that can be fear, that can be depression, that can be anxiety. All of which, remember, are created by us, okay, through the thoughts that we have. We are essentially creating this distressed reality that we are living in and then blaming other people for this reality that we have created. We're unable to see the world as it truly is. Imagine yourself looking out a window that's like very dirty and you can't see the beautiful world out there. The moment you open the window and you gain clarity and you become conscious and spiritually awake, that is the moment that you can see the beautiful sun and the colors of outdoors and that is when you become awake. Thoughts and consciousness are dependent on each other too. Without consciousness, you would never be aware that you're actually thinking. And if you can't think, then you're never going to be able to solidify a vision or purpose that you have. The consciousness that we experience brings us into the present moment and makes our purpose crystal clear. When a human comes up with a vision or a, a purpose in life, that vision begins to manifest itself and it becomes a reality and they're fulfilling their true destiny. In this pure state, we are completely, we're one with the moment, we're in beautiful harmony with our purpose, with life, with ourselves internally. Know that everything is meant to be in this life. And you get to create and bring whatever you want into this world and to manifest whatever you want. You know those moments where you think like, this was not supposed to happen to me. You feel like I am not capable of taking on this, this challenge. Those are the exact moments that you need to enter into a premature spiritual awakening. Now hear me out. Nothing that happens to you is not supposed to happen. It's basically a puzzle piece to the greater whole of life. When you understand that, it kind of gives you this weird sense of peace to know like, okay, if this thing happened to me, I'm actually capable of conquering it. I'm capable of finding a solution. Destruction of your outer purpose can actually lead to you finding your inner purpose. Let me give you a quick example to illustrate this a little bit better. I always thought that my outer purpose was to work a nine to five, be married, be a CEO, to travel for business like every so often if I was lucky. Fast forward in life, I thought like that was the only thing that I was put on this earth for really. Um, that quickly changed when I realized the nine to five was not for me. I had a personal tragedy happen to me and my, my ego was bent. My identity was was lost. My heart was shredded. It felt like it was thrown into the Vitamix, turned on level 10, and liquefied. I felt like I hit rock bottom. Um, through meditation, through yoga, through, through breath work, 
and through deep and I might add really uncomfortable reflection, I had a spiritual awakening. And this is very common when you have a very traumatic uh, event happen to you, death, whether that's an illness, whether that's a, a breakup, a financial situation. Many times people can look at it in a very negative way and they spiral into depression and anxiety. They become more asleep or they awaken and they have that spiritual awakening. They become conscious with their being. In my story, I realized that you can only lose something that you have, but you can't lose something that you are. That took a long time to figure out. My inner purpose became my new primary focus. My outer purpose has now shifted. Your purpose is always going to evolve, but my outer purpose, it's now aligning with my inner purpose. So my outer purpose is to ride the waves of life hard, to experience all that I can. And I want to see like all of the world. My inner purpose is so much deeper. That is to help people and to change the world, to help them to become awake, find self-love, to be in love with life. And that goes even deeper. Like if we shred those layers, it, go it gets even more deep, but I'm not going to get into that in this video. You are made for something bigger than the nine to five. I want you to flip the script. All right, here's an example. Think about the sunrise and sunset. The relative truth is that the sun is going to rise every single day and the sun is gonna set every day and have beautiful colors in the sky. The absolute truth is, if you look at the sun from the vantage point of space, we would see that the sun never actually rises or falls. We would see that the sun continues to shine indefinitely. So what does that mean? The relative truth is that you are familiar with the nine to five you are familiar with the fact that you have to work 40 hours a week in order to just get by and to make money and to live life. Uh, the relative truth is that you need to struggle every single day and just feel really stressed out about finding your purpose in life. The absolute truth is that you have a beautiful gift. You can monetize that beautiful gift. And you just being you is the most unique thing about you because no one else can be you. If you use that energy and know that your absolute truth is you being your unique self and using your gifts and the skills that you've learned to change the world, if you use that energy as your frame, then you can really achieve anything that you want in this world. I love to look at life like a wave. I, I love the ocean and it just, it brings me so much peace. Think about how waves expand and then they contract, right? It's just like the cycle of life. But let's start with expansion. We are exploring, we're novices, we are just curious. Really, we're just growing in knowledge. We're growing in possessions. We're gaining a lot of different different experiences. We might be aligning with our basic level of purpose in life. It's necessary because it's building the foundation for our core inner purpose, which is much, much deeper. You have to ride your wave and you, you have to experience these, the challenges of like, all of a sudden, one day you might have a personal tragedy or a traumatizing event. I call it the big bang moment in life. After you're expanding for so long, all of a sudden you start contracting and that's when you gain wisdom that's when you become conscious that's when you really become aligned with your inner purpose and things just start to become crystal clear because you've already built that firm foundation from expanding your ego starts to become smaller you'll experience a spiritual awakening if you're up for it in that moment, you'll be in a conscious state of formlessness, harmonious peace with the present moment. In this moment, your, your inner purpose will begin to emerge and your outer purpose will simultaneously just dissolve and your ego will just crack open because you have literally pushed it to its limits. And when you become so present and conscious, that is when you have a spiritual awakening. So in other words, the people or events that once defined your reality are now skewed and your identity identity and frame of consciousness are beginning to shift. But when I had my spiritual awakening, I thought that I hit rock bottom and that this was it. Like I had no idea what my purpose was. I felt like I was really worthless. In that moment, I had my big bang moment. And I, instead of 
expanding, I began to contract. I was so aware of my ego and what was like the voices in my head that I became conscious and aware of it. I want to bring up a concept called ikigai. It's actually a Japanese word that means to find your purpose. I'll throw up this graph that's really helpful. Whatever you can offer this world that will make you money, that you enjoy doing, and that you can help other people with is essentially your gift. It's a puzzle. Like life is a puzzle. It's a game. Okay. And when you can figure out at least one level of your purpose, maybe that's the outer purpose, first building that foundation, then you you go inward and really find that inner purpose. You have to have that big bang moment. That is when you can find your your true inner purpose or your your ikigai. Through your awakened doing, your outer purpose will start to become crystal clear. I'll leave you with this. This is something that this guy used to always say to me and I honestly love the quote. Life is, it's gonna throw a lot of curveballs at you and you're going to be confronted with a lot of different conflicts and challenges. It's just the way of life and you have to accept that. Being able to find solutions and work your way through these solutions will make you a stronger person and help you find your true raw purpose. Just remember as you're putting in all of that hard work, you just wanna feel happiness and alignment you'll get there i know you will but just remember that the journey is the most important part and that the juice is worth the squeeze